In this video of Yosemite High Yield series, we will talk about stroke or cerebrovascular accidents. Disruption of cerebral blood flow leads to death of brain cells, resulting in acute onset focal neurologic deficits. This is known as stroke. This can be ischemic or hemorrhagic. Now, risk factors include modifiable factors like hypertension, carotid stenosis, diabetes mellitus, obesity, hyperlipidemia, coronary artery disease, atrial fibrillation, drugs like cocaine. Non-modifiable factors include family history of MI, stroke, male gender, age more than 60 years, or ethnicity. Like African Americans, Hispanics, and Asians are more prone to develop stroke. Etiology includes hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, diabetes, which lead to lacunar infarcts. Atherosclerosis of extracranial or intracranial vessels will lead to ischemic brain stroke, and cardiac and aortic emboli also cause stroke. Symptomatology will include motor symptoms like acute onset of weakness or paralysis, sensory symptoms like lack of sensation or no sensation at all, that is hyposthesia or anesthesia. Autonomic symptoms will include autonomic dysregulation like loss of bladder bowel control and reflexes will be like hyporeflexia, that is diminished reflexes or hyporeflexia, that is increased or brisk reflexes. Now, based on the area of the brain involved and the vasculature involved, there can be anterior cerebral artery or ACA syndrome, middle cerebral artery or MCA syndrome, or posterior cerebral artery or PCA syndrome. We will talk about these in later videos. Now, how we diagnose stroke? We perform a non-contrast CT scan of brain which helps us to distinguish between ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. Then we perform blood tests like coagulation studies and routine blood, cardiac enzymes and troponin to make a etiological diagnosis. Once we have diagnosed, we treat ischemic stroke by thrombolysis, which is injecting drugs to dissolve blood clots and restoring blood flow to the brain. And hemorrhagic strokes are controlled or managed by doing craniotomy and removal of clot by surgical methods and prevention of rebleed by controlling pressure and maintaining the blood pressure. Now, I hope you have got a overview of strokes. Now, if you want to get notes and flashcards, you can follow us on our Facebook and Instagram page and you can support our channel by using the super thanks icon present on the bottom right corner of any video or you can support us on our Patreon page. You can follow our pun using the links given in the description box below and for medicine related content you can go and follow Nerd Medic. Until then bye bye see you in the next one.